Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining us for the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca. For the next 20 minutes, we're going to be discussing some latest immigration news. We're going to start off by discussing the latest change to the express entry system. This will be followed by the, the express entry draw that took place yesterday. And then we'll be concluding with how you can actually improve your chances under the new express entry system. Before we get started, we'd like to thank our friends at Coco70. Coco70 is hosting us today. They have 13 locations across Canada, and it's a great stop for the best chocolate desserts. Well, Colin, on November 19th, there was a new express entry system that was launched, or changes were made. That's so right. So what happened? Well, uh, really great uh, news for many applicants uh, looking to come to Canada. Uh, perhaps uh, one of the most important changes is that many thousands of workers currently in Canada are now going to qualify for permanent residence without, without having to go and apply for an, a labor market impact assessment. That process uh, is uh, timely, it takes, uh, it's time consuming, it's costly for employers. So <clears throat> the government uh, has now done away with that obligation uh, that, that was previously in the system that uh, will open the doors for many individuals. Um, it also reduces the number of points for an LMIA. Previously it was 600, and that was the gold standard, was the highest amount of points you could get. Uh, and now the, the uh, approved job offer, if you have one, uh, is worth uh, uh, 200 points if you're a, a high-level manager, or 50 points for everyone else. Of course, you have to have a certain uh, occupation level, which is A, uh, uh, B or a level zero. Uh, so, in fact, um, many people will qualify to Canada uh, without a labor market uh, impact assessment and, importantly, the value for uh, a labor market uh, assessment uh, is now significantly reduced across the board. Uh, a second really important change is that students uh, with certain levels of education having studied in Canada are now going to receive points uh, for having studied in Canada. So uh, high school uh, won't cut it, uh, but uh, if you've uh, minimum one year uh, of college, a college degree, uh, you'll, you'll have 15 points. And if you have a university degree uh, or a master's <clears throat> or a graduate level, you can get 30 points for studying in Canada. So this opens the door uh, for, uh, I would say, uh, a rearrangement of the point system. Uh, as we said earlier, the new gold standard, provincial 600 nomination. provincial nomination. So, uh, you know, if you do get provincial nomination, it's still worth 600 points. Uh, how do you get provincial nomination? A lot of them deal with getting a job offer. So, uh, you'll, you'll still have a great uh, benefit by looking at the provincial systems. Uh, we'll talk about that later. So, you know, perhaps what's also interesting is that the government has confirmed. Uh, this is the real takeaway. Uh, they have confirmed in writing that the number of points awarded for a job offer often made it hard for skilled workers and, and candidates without job offers to get an invitation. Uh, the change that the government has put in place, they have stated it will now welcome many highly skilled candidates and skilled professionals to Canada without the need to have a job offer. So uh, that's what everyone was expecting right. until yesterday. What so happens? Yesterday we had the, the last express entry draw, the, the latest one. So the CRS score is actually 786 and 559 people received invitations. So amongst practitioners, this did raise some concern because we were expecting the scores to be a lot lower. Uh, it seems that obviously with a score like in the 700s, it's favoring those with provincial nomination. So well, that, Colin, what happened? Well, that's it. Is, is yesterday's draw really takes us back to February 2015 when we saw those kinds of CRS scores uh, for applicants who were receiving invitations. Um, yesterday's draw really has put uh, a lot of, uh, uh, raised a lot of questions and practitioners are, are wondering what's going on. Well, I think we have an answer of what's going on. Uh, anyone who's in the uh, field and uh, a regular practitioner knows, first of all, you have to actually modify your own profile. Uh, the government does not have, let's put it this way, there's no CRS 
calculator, okay,、yeah. uh, that can automatically calculate all your points because there are so many factors、right. within a person's background. That if one element changes, your your calculator score is completely different. So,、uh, what the government has stated is, you have to manually upload the changes of your profile to the system. We have hundreds of applications that we've been trying to upload. The government has acknowledged there's been a computer glitch. There's a Uh, we, we wanted a seamless transition, but it's certainly not seamless. So, with these kinds of changes, number one, applicants themselves have to go and modify their profile to take advantage of these new rules. And second of all, even the professionals in the field who are trying to modify, and, and of course, individual applicants without、yeah. representation,、yeah. you you weren't able. And as of this very moment. We're still waiting for the system to be corrected. The government has confirmed、uh, they're working through these changes. So, what does that mean? It means the government, having a, a, a prior history of doing these draws every two weeks,、uh, held a draw yesterday, and it was very simple to remove everyone with provincial nomination. What that does is it takes away everyone who's entitled to the 600 points from the system,、uh, and what you're going to see. Uh, in future draws, is the net effect of these rules having removed everyone with 600 points from the system? So,、uh, in, in reality, the people who received nomination, whether or not they could even benefit from these new rules, it doesn't matter because 600 points is nomination.、Right. Another 186 points. Anyone can get 186 points practically.、Right. So they've removed all these candidates from the pool yesterday, and it gives them more time to、uh, really obtain a net profile, a, a net pool of candidates with the、uh, profiles that will reflect these new changes. So we, yeah, go ahead. So I mean, how many more draws do we expect? I mean, we're coming to the end of the year. Well, look,、uh, what we've seen and and what government has informally shared with us is that there's room for many more thousands of invitations. Now, whether they get it done this year, which is quite likely, we'll see at least. I would go out and venture to say,、okay. we're going to、okay. see at least one more draw and quite possibly. Two more draws. That would be great. It would be interesting、yeah. to see these two more draws. If it happens this year, we're expecting it to happen, and we're going to expect to see the net effect of these changes as people are 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 getting out and understanding that they have to modify their profile, and as government is able to reflect the uh, uh, my CIC profile、uh, with these new changes, then you're going to see a real clean database. Which we know today, by the way,、uh, informally we know there's about sixty thousand plus individuals even today as we speak in the pool, only sixty thousand,、right. which is also very telling.、Yeah. So, so that's、uh, what we're, we're we're dealing with, and and that explains why yesterday's draw is is throwing everybody off. But you hear it from here,、uh, the, the the fact of the matter is this is this is a a, a, a planned. Uh, release. It's a steady release, and it will take a bit more time till all these changes are thoroughly reflected into the current、uh, system. Okay. So we've, dis- we've discussed the new system. So how can one succeed under this new express entry? Well, look.、Uh, you know, we've talked about this before.、Yes. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, we can't stress enough. Everyone has to go out and modify your profiles if you've studied in Canada. If you are working in Canada,、uh, if you have an LMIA and a work permit,、uh, you're entitled to additional points without even applying for an LMIA again.、Right. So, if you're thinking of applying for Canadian residence and you're working in Canada, or if you are under certain agreements that qualify for these new rule changes for you to get these points without an LMIA. You've got to go and modify your profiles. We're we're, we're work. That's that's we, our challenge right now.、Exactly. We've got hundreds of cases that we're working through the system, trying to make these changes. So it's going to take a bit more time,、uh, and we can't stress enough that applicants have to go out and modify their profiles. Perfect. So this brings us to another way would be. Say you have a spouse or a common law partner, you need to get their credentials assessed. Often people they 
they overlook their spouse's qualifications. So they'll go ahead and apply the express entry pool with their qualifications, but they could be getting several more points. And just even if it's a few points, that could actually get you selected in the next draw. Well, that's it. Because, you know, uh, even, look, for example, if your partner has a, a university education, you need to get their credentials assessed. That could represent 10 more points for an upper level degree. Uh, and, and, and just language, for example, yes. uh, I mean, improving language scores, yes. I mean, it's, it's not easy to just go and improve your language scores, right. but surely uh, you've got to work on improving your uh, proficiencies because your partner's language abilities, your language abilities, gets you points. Gets you increased points. For example, uh, your, your, if you have a benchmark 9, you're getting maximum score, but if you've got benchmark in only, uh, if you're missing one of the disciplines, one of the elements, I mean, you need to work on trying, because a, bench, a CLB benchmark level 9 across the board, you're getting maximum score for English. Exactly. So, you know, you've got time now to improve uh, but what about, what about our clients? What I mean, are they? What we, are, we provide our con our clients with two weeks of free online IELTS courses. So even if they have a high level English, they have they're fluent in English, they still have the access to the courses because taking an exam is completely different than everyday life. So it prepares you for the exam. Well, that's it. And we also have SoundCloud. Well, I would. I mean, I mean, you you raise an interesting point about SoundCloud. I would venture to say, uh, individuals who are working with us. Uh, of course, in addition to the free IELTS practice, even if you've got solid command of English, uh, going through practice courses is going to make a difference until you get it right, until you, you can understand the difference. There's an accent issue for many people, but I would invite everyone. We have over 65 hours of SoundCloud audios that deal with the current, the latest immigration issues. So why not listen to our podcasts? You'll improve, you'll hopefully uh, improve your English listening, uh, perhaps understanding. Right. So uh, you've got to improve your English, your partner has to improve English, because what is happening is you are, are going to be affected by small differentials in points that will make the difference in, in, in a future score. We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. But what else can people do? Secure a job in Canada. So that's another thing. I mean, there's online job boards, which uh, not obviously it's hard for one to stand out, but I mean, we provide employment search assistance through GRN. Well, that, that's, you know, that's an important uh, element that you, you raise. Uh, the online job board uh, hunting process is really highly overrated. Uh, we, we've stressed many times to our clients and to others in the field, if you're relying on online job boards, if you're working with a professional that's just sending you out to a link and, and, and giving you links to go find jobs, but they're just online boards, you are, you are not being served. You are, it is a disservice to any professional uh, where you are helping people find work and you're just sending them to links. Exactly. So what we try to let people understand is you have to stand out from other candidates in the field. You've got to work either on your own in how to stand out or if you work with us uh, through Global Recruiters of Montreal, we provide every single one of our clients job search consulting, and I'll even use the word effective job search <laughs> consulting services, which for many of our clients, it's making a difference. Of course. It's making a difference. Definitely. So you've got to uh, uh, work on finding, and look, 600 points was previously, but if you remove the 600 points and now 50 points either will help you get nomination or it will help you get a foot in the door in Canada because it, you, could, you could get a work permit. Yeah. So really, uh, finding a job remains paramount uh, in, 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 our, in our estimation. I mean, and that also ties in with coming to Canada and actually visiting Canada. Well, that is also, you raise a very interesting point because just from abroad, uh, those that are very motivated, and some of our clients are going the extra mile. They're coming to Canada, they're visiting Canada, they're timing their visits with uh, employment interviews. Because look, we, we know employers are, are, are comfortable with the online uh, interview process, yes. but if someone's ready to attend a face-to-face -face interview, this really, really sets you apart. So if you visit Canada and coincide and time your visit with your job search, and if you're working with us, you're going to have access to 500 employers 
in your industry. Yes. So we can help you set up interviews. Of course, uh, the, the, the uniqueness of our services uh, in the employment searches we've got in-house counsel who, who know what they're doing. Right. So it makes a very big difference from that perspective. So look, um, what else can we say? I mean, I think that concludes uh, our, our session today. We just want to thank everyone for joining us. But obviously, you know, we're, we're having a new, our new website's going to be launched in this weekend. So please stay tuned for that. What could we uh, call to action? What, what, what's a great call to action before we sign off? Okay, well, I mean, in two weeks, we'll be having our next live stream. So please follow us on Facebook, like us on Facebook. Our social media is immigration.ca. And obviously, if you're interested in coming to Canada, please go to our website, immigration.ca, and complete our free online evaluation form. If not, you can always send us an email and we'd be happy to get back to you to discuss your options. And we'd hope to, we'd hope to work with you as well. Well, that uh, concludes our session for today. Hope uh, everyone uh, found it somewhat useful. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you very shortly again. Thank you.